Shabbat Shalom. MLRT is bringing you a little bit of the Sabbath this week. And with me, I have Judy Horowitz. I'm Mignon Grosh, and we have the esteemed Ross M. Nathan. This coming Shabbat, we read the second Parsha, or weekly reading in Exodus, by Ara. We all know how the story begins. A new pharaoh comes to power, and feeling threatened by the growing numbers and influence of the Hebrews in Egypt, enslaves our people and orders the death of the firstborn sons. Last week, God appeared to Moses in a burning bush and called on him to confront the pharaoh to let my people go. Moses comes up with every reason imaginable to say no. Who am I to go to Pharaoh? He will not listen to me. I am of slow speech. I'm scared, I don't want to do this alone. And Moses leaves Egypt for Midian where he meets and marries Zipporah and together they have two sons. This week's portion opens with God calling Moses again. God spoke to Moses and said to him, I am the Lord. I appear to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as El Shaddai, but I did not make myself known to them by the name Yahweh. It's a surprising passage. What does it mean that God has different names? How is it possible that our patriarchs did not know this name of God, Yahweh, when clearly we find this name in the book of Genesis? One answer comes to us from 19th century scholars of the Hebrew Bible, who noticed the different names of God and taught that this reflected different authors. This is called the documentary hypothesis. But rabbinic tradition, not surprisingly, offers a different answer. The different names of God reflect our different understandings of what God means to each of us in different moments of our lives. The names also reflect how we respond to God's calling to us. As human beings, we grow and change and mature through life. We experience great heights and deep valleys. All are part of the human experience. Faith is never static. As we grow and experience different moments in life, our understanding of faith must grow and change as well. For Jews, faith is not about leaps of acceptance or blind obedience. We are called Israel, which means God wrestlers. This week's portion implores us to explore the different paths to faith as we journey through the challenges we encounter in our lives. And now we will say the mourner's Kaddish. We think of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, and those whom we have drawn into our hearts with our own. Zikronam livracha, may their memories be for a blessing. 
יתגדל ויתקדש שמי רבה, ויעמד יברח מרותי וימליך מלכותי, וחי יכון וביום יכון, וחי יכול בית ישראל, ועגלה ובזמן קרי ואמרו אמן. יהי שמי רבה מברך לעולם ומי עמיה. יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומן ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתהלל ויתהלל שמיד הקודשת בריחו לאלה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה תוש ברכתה ונחרמתה דאמירן ואמה ואמרו אמן יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיא וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן עושה שלום במרומיו הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו אמן.